Hey, what's up, Doxa? What's going on? Uh, today we're going to be doing a competitor analysis video, and I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible because it is a lot of information. Uh, but pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the com competition websites that are absolutely doing amazing right now. Um, we're going to be going over uh, utilityconnect.net. We're going to be going over allconnect.com, myutilities.com, and utility concierge. And what's great about this is you get to see the back end of what they're doing. You get to see the behind the scenes of how they're creating, um, whether it's leads or whether it's they're doing it by cities, whether it's they're doing it just by general keywords. How big are they? Are they nationwide or are they more city specific? Because it's not just about what the website says. It's about the traffic and who's coming to it. I'm going to be showing you all that cool stuff, all right? So let's get started. First, I'm going to use utilityconnect.com because that's the website that was referred to check it out. So... What I like to use is there's a site here, it's called SEMrush. Um, right now I'm using a paid version of SEMrush, SEMrush. But, you know, with the free version, you do get one or two searches a day or something like that. And um, what I like about this tool is you get to see all the keywords they're ranking for, and you get to see, you know, how much search volume they get a month, and you get to see um, pretty much the weaknesses in their campaigns along with the strengths. So what you do is, just gonna put utilityconnect.net in here and we're gonna lo and behold wait. Give it a second. Bam! So it's generated. You can see there's 245 searches a month. Is it good or is it bad? Depends on the keywords. Okay, so you can see in 2014 they had a hundred and they pretty much doubled their traffic in three, four years. It's kind of bad depending on how low the amount of search volume is. And they've done some paid traffic in the past. You know, they've tried a little bit with 150 bucks to see if they can generate some leads. And it looks like they stopped doing that. So I don't think it was successful. Over here, here you can see all the keywords that they're ranking for. Uh, they rank number one for Utility Connect, uh, for Connect Utilities, number three. So these two keywords are bringing in the searches. You can see the, the keywords and the percentage of traffic that those keywords are generating for the site. So if it's 250 keywords, let's see which keywords are the big keywords, the 80-20 keywords that are helping them win, all right? Um, what's great about this is this means that the keywords they're picking are, you know, there's some money behind those keywords. So those keywords are keywords that people are doing PPC for and stuff. So these are competitive keywords. So although there's 245 searches, the traffic costs, is, you know, there's a little bit of competition here, right? So you can you can organize this by search volume, you can organize it by keyword, you can organize it by, you know, what's the top 10. I'm going to do percentage of traffic just to see which keywords are the keywords that are really making up those 300 searches a month roughly. Uh, let's do that. You can see here, let it load, load it up. You can see here that half of their searches it's because they rank number one for Utility Connect. So 60% of the traffic is coming from this one keyword, Utility Connect, and that's the name of the domain. So this is great because the domain name that we pick, let's make sure that it's something that is pretty direct to the keyword we want to go for, that main keyword. So these keywords make up three quarters of the traffic, Connect Utilities and Utility Connect. Everything else, they barely it's because it's ranking. So if you're number one, you share a lot of the traffic. You know, if you're number one, you share between 30 and 50% of the traffic. So if you rank number one for, let's say, coffee, and coffee gets 10,000 searches a month, you're probably getting 5,000 searches a month just from that coffee keyword. And remember, there's other keywords and all these other things that stack up over time. So this website, uh, you know, this is an expensive keyword, $20. Uh, if you do pay per click, so they're they're doing really well with this one keyword. There's also other keyword opportunities they can use, but and you can see the pages. It's all just the home page that's getting all the traffic. All right, so this is great. You can see a lot of information here. Um, let's look at uh, the backlinks real quick. We're gonna do this process for three more of these keywords. I mean, three more of these domains, and we're gonna end it there. Okay, cool. The trust flow is an 8 and the citation flow is a 10. And that's not really strong. The backlinks aren't crazy because, 
you know, an average backlink uh, for a website, a good website is about around 15 to 25. Um, anything above 30, 35 is a little bit more competitive. Uh, so over here you can see their links. You can actually look at their links. Um, you can see kind of how they generate links. They really only have two decent links. Everything else is uh, more underperforming. Utility. So the city of Kendale. Uh, let's see. The anchor text is free utility concierge. Free utility. Maybe the link is deleted. Yeah, so the link could be deleted. Let's see if it's deleted. Uh, so the last time they checked this link, it was last seen a month, two months ago in July, 2000, June 2017. I'm not sure if this is still here. Greater Houston, GHR. Yeah, this link, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly where the link is. Uh, maybe it's deleted. Sometimes that happens. I'm not really sure. But we're going to keep moving forward and look at some other links. Leslie Wilson, uh, this guy. Oh, yeah, util so Utility Connect. I'm sorry, Utility Connect. It's gone. Let's see. Uh... Free utility concierge. Free utility concierge. Hmm. None of these links are showing up. Not really sure why. Um, you can see that this is <laughs> this is a, a site where they're trying to rank. You see great heights. It's cool the information you can see doing stuff like this. So you can see this guy is just trying to rank for a whole bunch of stuff um, here. So maybe they must have paid him to put a link there and maybe he got taken away. Uh, so these are cool things you can see behind the scenes. Gonna do one more, just gonna keep moving on if I don't see anything. Utility Connect. Okay, so they, they actually embedded the website into the moving company, uh, which is a great, that's kind of a great strategy right there. You know, you can pay a business to just, you know, have the website straight up in there as a great link for the site. As long as a business has a strong, you know, trust flow, citation flow. So, you know, we're uncovering strategies here. This is what SEO all is. It's just like seeing what they're doing and just doing a lot better of a job, right? And for time purposes, I'm going to keep this short and move faster on the other ones. You can see here it's... A, really crappy citation trust flow uh, this is really not not great you can do a lot better than that so next I would try to go for a business that has a trust flow of 15 or higher than this moving company this moving company can is underperforming so enough about utility connect I'm gonna just show you guys all connect because that's the really really mega website here allconnect.com uh, if you guys can guess how much searches they have, it's literally over 300,000 searches a month, which is absolutely incredible. And they're ranking for really big keywords, such as Internet Service Provider, uh, Xfinity. They have huge keywords. So here on All Connect, bam, All Connect is pretty much the site that you guys can develop if you want to be like the top in the world or like one of the leading utility websites uh, so here they rank number one for internet providers which has 135 searches a month and that is only 20 percent of the traffic so you can imagine and they have over 50,000 keywords they're ranking for which means they must have a ton of pages uh, but how are they ranking for all these keywords you can see here Verizon internet they rank number eight it's insane um, so their strategy here is let's rank for really big general keywords, but in order to do that, you need some super strong backlinks. So let's look at their backlink profile. All this is attached in that um, document. The document pretty much shows you uh, all the specifics and the, the spreadsheets and stuff like that. But here you can see they have a trust flow of 46. It's really big, um, and they have 
over 80,000 backlinks. It's like these guys have been doing this for a really long time. Even like four years ago, they had 100,000 searches. Uh, see, I mean, 60,000, that's still really high, especially for, you know, $3 million a month in advertising costs if you were to pay for that. Stunner. So here, let's look. Um, DallasCityHall.com, you know, links out to them. Let's look at this link real quick. City of Dallas. This is a government website, right? Um, request a service. I'm not sure what the cable TV satellite. Sometimes these things, cable TV satellite. This has been unsuccessful for me so far. Uh, finding the link exactly in here. Um, I don't know. We have other services such as Ahrefs. I'm not sure why right now why it's doing that, but you can see all this, the backlinks here. Um, you know, really strong, 68 and 52, like 60. These are really strong websites. Uh, electricitytexas.com, powered by AllConnect. So AllConnect is, is just partnered up uh, with a ton of companies and having the highest of backlinks they possibly can have. Um, uh, AllConnect powered. So, you know, that's something for you guys to keep in mind, just kind of how they're doing this. Uh, there's more links here too. There's you know commercial Lexington and all these other links, but they have some really strong backlinks, so they're going to be tough to beat against. So the next website we're going to be looking at is myutilities.com, and um, let's just start looking at them right away. So we're going to put it in some Russian. Look at this again. Boom. Okay, just give it a second and they get roughly 3,000 searches a month all right awesome and they recently did that so back in March they were getting 700 and that was their cap but they've more than uh, tripled their traffic it looks like so if we can see here Hamilton Utilities is one of the largest keywords Hamilton Utilities so let's look at that What keyword was this? I mean, what website? My utilities. Yeah, so they rank. Uh, I'm not sure what these are up here. So they put city, city, Hamilton, such city, government sites, one, two, three, four. Connection utilities in Hamilton. Hamilton's in Ohio or West Virginia. I'm not sure, but it looks like they have a city page. So they're ranking for cities. I wonder how many cities are they doing, but this this page ranks, yeah, in Ohio. So for the p cities, they are ranking um, utility keywords in different cities. I wonder how many cities we can look at or if we can even see that, because it looks like they're not. Electricity, TV, and then providers in my area. So once they started adding city keywords, they started doing slightly better. It's cool. We can see information like this. So this keyword has 8,000 searches a month. They rank number seven. So 10% of their search traffic is from that. So that means that it's just they really this keyword which put them up. Other keywords are my utilities. Direct TV Rio, they're number 18. So if they were to push that up, you know, that would be huge for them. Um, but they're underperforming on a lot of things. And it's most likely because they don't know this information. But they're doing better, though. Because, I mean, in the last six, seven months, they tripled their traffic. And their traffic cost is really high, too. I think it's that Hamilton keyword. Let's look at that. So they're doing, they're doing not bad as well. But what are they actually ranking for? Uh, 
Yeah, some big keywords, but they're all on like page two and stuff. Let me do it by uh, position. You can get a lot of information doing this, so that's how you can easily see how this can come into fruition. Uh, yeah, so utility connections, uh, they rank number one, and that's a $60. No, no, sorry, I'm looking at this keyword density. Um, so, boom, $20 key right there. Yeah, I think it's because a lot of searches come directly from this, which is helping them right there. Yeah, they got some keywords here. So they rank number five for utilities, Dallas. And look, you can see another city page. See here how you can kind of get a strategy um, just from looking at this information. You can kind of see what they're doing and uh, devise one of your own. Oh, shoot. That could, you know, defeat them. Same thing. Boom. Let's look at this. I guarantee it's probably the same layout as the other one, and they're just doing that because you know rinse, rinse and repeat, right? Exactly. It's the same thing. So Dallas. I'm just gonna just type in a random city and see if they're doing it. How many city pages they have? Yeah, Atlanta. So you can kind of see their strategy here. But they're not doing well with the backlinks because they're not ranking for these pages. These are probably fake. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, let's shoot for the moon. Let's do Plano or something in Texas, something like that. Or Springfield because you guys have services in Springfield. Yeah, see? So you, we kind of get their strategy here. Um, yeah, so let's we that's pretty much done. We can look at their backlinks, see their backlinks and what's going on. So you can see that their biggest weakness is backlinks because I mean, if they did their keyword research right, um, they did it all right for uh, uh, that city in Ohio, but they can do a lot better if they were, you know, think backlink wise. But let's look here, natchi.org. That's a pretty high backlink. Let's look at their summary. I forgot what their trust flow was. It's 12. Okay, that's really not that great. It's not that strong. They can do a lot better with the backlink. So that's probably why um, uh, they're not doing as good as they can be. So, yeah, DallasNative.com. Uh, you can see it's not the end of the world. Like, you could, yeah, this site is. Uh, internet yeah this is a feed the site is disgusting but it's a ton of links so you can easily get yourself in there just asking resource site dallas.com utilities boom utility concierge that's funny another another competitor is here as well uh, interesting how that is so Dallas native, it's a high, no alt text. My utilities, I'm looking at the bottom, the bottom here you can see the links. Uh, I'm not sure where my utilities is. Maybe they paid for it, I don't know. But yeah, my utility concierge is here, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, so you can see here a lot of you know association sites, a lot of city sites give links to these kind of websites so that's what we do we you know make sure that you know you guys are based in in denver so make sure like the city of denver gets links to this site continuously we do something like that because that's what these guys are doing utility concierge let's look at them and then we're going to end this video right this is the last one boom a second Three six nine. <laughs> it's three six mafia. Uh, cool. So, you know, the traffic cost is you know on a lower side compared to everyone else, um, but higher than Utility Connect, 
And look, they're just ranking for utility concierge keywords. 85% of their traffic comes from utility concierge. And it's, you know, it's pretty up there. So this keyword makes up a majority of the business, utility concierge. So it's not city keywords. It's not, you can see here that you're kind of limiting yourself. I think you're better off doing multiple cities because the search volume is high. Remember that Ohio city had, those keywords had 8,000 searches a month. I'd rather have like 30 or 50 of those than just utility concierge because you're, you're just stuck there. And he's pretty much owning this keyword, but that's all he's owning. So it's like, how much money are you really making? How much leads are you really maximizing with that one keyword? You're better off expanding, which they're not really doing because, I mean, a lot of their search volume, a lot of their searches are going just to utilityconcierge.com, not to utilityconcierge.com slash Dallas. You can see they're ranking for Dallas, but they're based in Dallas. They're not based globally, like All Connect or even uh, the last site we just seen, uh, myutility.com. So you can see here how interesting it is, um, the strategy. So they're probably capped out at everything here, and they just started getting traffic like four or five months ago. So these guys really aren't a competitor we need to worry about. Utility concierge, trust flow 12, citation flow 21. The trust flows kind of on the lower side but it's not bad I mean it's pretty close to average and uh, oh this is still my utilities Hold on, give me a second yeah so utility concierge is doing really well with their backlinks but you can see here that they're kind of that's probably why they shot up with their searches but you can see that they're capped out because there's no other pages, there's no other new keywords. They're capped out. 85% of their traffic is going to utility concierge keywords. But those that keyword has 300 searches a month. So you can see that they're doing really well with their backlinks, but the choices of keywords aren't really that great. Uh, are, they, are they making money? Are they doing the job? Is it getting done? Absolutely. But you can see here how we can maximize more of uh, you know market with better keyword decisions and that comes from keyword strategy so they're doing all right but they're doing all right just there they need to be more open-minded and expand with their keyword selection so ctot.com is the link uh, dallas native you can see those city keywords again mod town is their partner of this site freedom of texas uh, so a lot of like country websites i mean uh, sorry state websites like official state websites or anything like that this is a probably a partner um dallas native anything like that are the great keywords of um utility concierge right freedom of texas yeah this is like a utility website to help you understand the state of texas better so you can see here look at that bam that's great for you guys as a link opportunity so we can model that and do that but which is better keyword selection all right so that's pretty much it you can see here how we can easily develop a strategy just by looking at this data how we can see how they're doing it how they're doing really well what they're underperforming in and how we could take advantage of these things learn from them and create something that's just much more sustainable, much more profitable, much more accurate, and much more maximized with our potential, all right? So if you need any questions, just reach out to me or David, and we'll get back to you on any specifics on how we can make this just rock and roll, all right? So, you know, enough from me. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this, and hopefully you learned something valuable about, you know, search engine optimization, and I'll see you guys later.